Hello guys and welcome to my video of how to flash the Kyle Open ROM on the Galaxy S Duos. So guys, the pre-request here is you must be rooted and must have custom recovery installed. And if you don't have that, uh, click the link which pops up right now or head up to the link in the description. This will lead you to my another video showing how to root and install custom recovery. So once you are done with that, you need to copy one file to your external SD card and that's the ROM file. Uh, the link's in the description. So, when you are done, just switch off your phone. And after the phone is switched off, you need to go to your custom recovery menu. And uh, you can see it's switched off right now. So, um, you have to, for doing that, you have to hold the volume up, down, home, and power, all four of them together until you see the Samsung logo. And this time, this, the device won't vibrate. So, just hold all four of them. When you see the Samsung Galaxy S logo, just leave all four of them. As you can see, you have entered your custom recovery. And once you're done, you need to navigate through the file. And for doing that, you have to navigate through your volume buttons and select through your home button and go back through your uh, power button. And for your information, guys, this process will delete all your apps. This won't touch your music or photos, but it will delete your apps. So if you want to take the, uh, like, the risk of deleting all your apps but keeping your music and all that so go ahead so uh, once you're done so once you're done with that uh, you need to go to wipe a uh, wipe data factory reset and select through your home button just go delete all user data So as you can see it's done, now you need to go to wipe cache partition, go and do yes. Now you need to go to advanced and now wipe Delvic cache. And once we are uh, done with that, just go back through your power button and then you need to go to your install zip from SD card and select your home button and the first option choose zip from SD card. Select that one and then you need to select the for the file Kyle Open ROM version 2.1.2. .2. Just select this one and then click. Yes, this will take some time, but uh, it will install the ROM on your phone. So I'll just fast forward the video. So guys, now you can see that install from SD card is complete and now again you need to go back from your power button and then go reboot system now and select through your home button. So it will just restart and now you will see there is a custom ROM on the device. It will take some time to boot for the first time. So don't worry guys, I'll just fast forward the video. Yeah guys, so it's done booting now. And uh, don't worry guys, it took around 5 minutes to boot for the first time because of the slow processor. So don't get freaked out when it's not starting for a long time. So. I'll just complete this process. Yeah guys, so here we go. As you can see, it's uh, based on the some the original kind of stock ROM and mixed with the Samsung Galaxy Samsung Galaxy series. As you can see, these icons are based on the Samsung series, but the browser is of the default stock. Uh, I mean the stock uh, Android and this drawer is also of the stock Android and you can see this transition effect has been changed and if you go to settings you get about device as you can see it's Android 4.0.4 and it's Kyle Open ROM version 2.1 and uh, this is a personal suggestion guys as you can see this there's a pink color light don't worry this pink color only comes when your battery drops below 50% so don't get freaked out <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel 
And if you have any suggestions, just leave it in the comment section below. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to watch my other videos. So that's pretty much it again. Paka, ciao, bye.